Craft work is where we take items that are completely, usually completely fabricated. For example, all the stones are ground. If they're making stringy uh, beads and, and such, everything is already done. All the person is doing is taking their skill at being an artisan and taking them and uh, setting the stones in a proper order that would be attractive to an individual. And everything is prefabricated and they just string those on whatever material they decide to do. For example, pearls. Pearls are, are something that's already made and all they're doing is drilling or restringing them. That's sort of, in, the, in an essence, uh, craft, work. craft work. Yes. And hand, handmade work is handmade completely work. much, much different where you're taking metal or items that are not prefabricated, but are, in essence they are and just manipulating the way that they should go. And hand forging is when you're doing completely all the work, especially if you're grinding stones. You start from one and do all the lapidary work, etc. Okay. And in those cases, we're forging everything, we're making products. As we work, we end up with pieces of silver are left over, we cut off, etc. or we made a mistake and we mounted it down too far and so they're no good, so we scrap them. And we don't really throw it away because silver is costly. And we take every little piece that we can find and the pieces vary. And we save every bit of this, including the filings. And into what we do at a, at a certain point, we take this and melt it down and we melt them down into ingots of silver. And that's what we do. And then once we get that down, we roll them out or we shape them and form them. And what, the reason why we want to keep them in that form is because there's different types of work that we do. Uh, there's forging, which is, for an example, we forge this out a little bit, heated it up, tried to get all the impurities out to at least get back to sterling silver quality or better. In some cases, usually in our case, we were doing a little bit better, maybe 96, 98 percent silver versus what it is in sterling, which is 92.5. We got a one we worked on this morning where we actually took the silver from a nick agate form and made a long bracelet shank that we'll be using later on. When we get into this type of work, then we're doing handmade items, whereas in the beginning, it starts out as an agate for forging and ends up into what we need. Of course, we use a lot of the silver than that for this piece, and that's what occurs.